Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to muddy your vehicle tracks, be it tracked like mine here or wheeled vehicles. Uh, super fun process that makes the vehicle look very realistic and of course you can apply different uh, levels of the mud, uh, be it quite light as the vehicles you can see here such as my Basilisk and the Hellhound or really muddy like my Lehman Russ Annihilator here which looks like it's been driven through some very thick mud and it's like to cake on quite heavily. And to achieve this look you're going to have to uh, get AK Interactive, the heavy muddy weathering set, a great product. Uh, there's nothing similar offered by Games Workshop, so this is the kit I use to achieve this look. Right, so I'm actually creating the, the mud itself. Uh, in the kit you get five products. Uh, you get one called Wet Effects Fluid, which I don't actually use. Uh, that's to help sort of make uh, your vehicle look like it's been rained on. I also use it for creating ice style effects. Uh, you then also get damp earth, uh, as you can see here. Um, I don't use it because I find it a bit too dark for my liking for the effects I'm after. Um, but the one I do use is Summer Cursed Earth. Uh, I believe it's a reference to a World War II battle against uh, in the Russian theatre. You can see the type of brown it is there. What you end up doing is mixing this one with the pigments. As you can see, it's like a very browny, flowery texture. Uh, and also you get a bag of plaster as well. So what you do is basically mix these three products together and you sort of massage how uh, dark or light you want it to be using the pigments dark earth or put in more of the plaster to make it a bit uh, whiter. So let's get on to mixing it itself. Uh, so basically you get your uh, pigments. Um, I think a key piece of advice here is don't put too much. Um, I've in the past gone all in and put a lot of this in here and be stuck with a heap of it left over which is quite hard to store because it dries out quite quickly. Um, so basically put in your, uh, your pigments uh, dark earth there. Uh, make sure you shake this first. Drop a tiny bit in there. And it's just a matter of mixing it around. Using one of my um, old brushes, obviously don't use a new one because it's a very challenging task on the, um, the brush. But you can see here it's probably a bit too uh, fluidy at this point. So, Put a bit more of your pigments. To try and thicken it up. I think I might actually use now some of the plaster. So I'm pretty happy with that because uh, what I'm going for on this vehicle, which is my uh, uh, Tank Commander Pask or Night Commander Pask, is a bit of a lighter look. I won't be putting it as clumpy as an eyeliner I showed you at the start. And onto applying it onto your model. Um, I've obviously uh, varnished this first. Uh, I'd fully weathered it and applied in transfers before going into this process because I see this is the last stage of the process of actually finishing my tank. Um, I think if you are not sure how to start, I think a good place to experiment on is underneath the tank. Obviously, because that's not going to always be seen. So if you're not happy with the result, you can sort of uh, adjust and improve. Um, but basically what I'm going to do here is start applying it to the front of the tank. Because if you think the vehicle, as it's moving forward, the front of the tank is going to be very muddy because it's going to be copying all the, the mud as it moves its way through. So just go along with your brush. Basically, get it on as thick or as light as you seem uh, necessary for the look you're going for. Uh, do remember when you apply it, that if you're applying from the front, make sure obviously that you apply the same level across both sides. You don't want to have one side looking very uh, lightly done and the other side not looking that uh, the same consistency. Uh, do try to, um, as I said, get the same level across the board. Um, and when you apply it, uh, I think, again, just be super random. Don't try and follow a pattern because, for heaven's sake, you're driving in the mud, so there's going to be mud going everywhere. Um, you could splash a bit, a bit up higher, uh, like I'm going to do there, to sort of show it sprayed, it's come hit like into a, I don't know, a big, dirty, old, muddy puddle and sprayed itself up. So just go along now, uh, working along all the, the major edges, uh, just like we are going to do here, to sort of show where the mud's come up, uh, certain parts of the vehicle. But again, as I said before, for this one, I'm not going as heavily as I did uh, for the Lehman Russ Annihilator. Just a few more comments uh, on doing certain parts of the vehicle. 
uh, on the back here, um, I think you want to do it in a way that it sort of shows a fair bit of build up because I guess as the vehicle is moving forward, anyone that's been dragged along by the tracks, it's going to get it chucked up and spread everywhere. So um, do try to do a bit of build up here. And what I mean by build up is uh, cake it on quite thick at the back or any areas where you want it to really sort of show build up because once this dries, which I'll, uh, I'll show later, you can actually see uh, a lot of the detail being lost because it's been covered up by the, the clumping of the mud. Um, and also with the pigments, if you go all in on the pigments, uh, actually it shows a very sort of heavy sort of application. Um, and with the tracks, uh, my opinion is because the vehicle's going forward and the tracks are going like that, I spray a, a fair bit of mud up along it and sort of let it just sort of disappear as I guess the mud shakes off the tracks. Uh, of course, whatever your opinion is towards that, uh, feel free. Uh, but you can of course put some on the side as it sort of sort of bounces off. Um, but again, if your vehicle's been rolling around the mud like a like a pig, uh, go for it and go really crazy. Otherwise, for my application, I'm going to go quite light, as I said before. So there you go, all finished. Uh, you need to let it dry for about eight hours uh, before you can start handling uh, the model. Um, and you can see there, uh, it does look quite good. Hope you agree. Um, I definitely, for me, this is a lighter application of the mud, and uh, I think. If you do want to get that very clumpy feel in the mud, um, you're going to have to add more of the, the pigment uh, or the plaster to really get that really clumpy eff uh, effect. But I think you can sort of see that at the bottom of the tracks, uh, it is something to, to build up. It's become quite thick and clumpy. And definitely as it rotates now, um, as you can see sort of the axle set up uh, on the left there, on the left track, you can see it is quite built up. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, please ask any questions in the comments. Otherwise, like and subscribe for more videos as I assemble, paint and play Astra Militarum in the world of Warhammer 40,000. Till next time, see ya!